as a meeting and incentive destination. Should you have pressing questions, you can post your questions in the Q&A box and we will respond. Otherwise, if you wish to email either Lucy Bayonne or myself after the webinar, we will more than happily respond to you. So we begin. Monaco, you need a venue, we offer you a country. The Principality of Monaco is the second smallest independent state in the world after the Vatican. It's been an independent state for over 700 years, and it is a constitutional monarchy led by His Serene Highness Prince Albert II, who is married to Princess Charlene from uh, South Africa, and we were very pleased to recently have royal babies twins. Monaco is located along the Mediterranean Sea, surrounded by France and just a stone's throw from the Italian border. So how does one get there? Our closest area is Nice Cote d'Azur International Airport, which is the second largest airport in France, serving over 86 different destinations. Uh, I mentioned Swiss, although all the European flag carriers have excellent connections, whether it be British Airways through London, Swiss Air through uh, either Zurich or Geneva. Delta does operate a nonstop flight from New York's JFK Airport into Nice Cote d'Azur International Airport. So once you've arrived at Nice, how does one access the Principality of Monaco? One way, and a very James Bond means of transportation from Nice to Monaco is via helicopter. We have a helicopter company called Heli Air Monaco, and there are scheduled flights running almost every half an hour. More than 120,000 passengers are carried uh, by them annually. The journey, journey takes seven minutes, and the helicopter company provides a door-to-door -door service. When you arrive at Monaco's heliport, a minibus from Heli Air transports one to any hotel within the principality. And for your return, they have an agreement with many of the airlines, so you can check your bag in at Monaco's heliport and see it back in your home city. Should you prefer a ground transfer, Nice is merely 16 miles away from Monaco, which takes about 30 to 45 minutes by ground. In terms of our hotel product, we have 2,500 sleeping rooms in the Principality of Monaco, and the rooms fall in the three four and five star categories. And one very important point that I would like to share with you is to be a five star hotel technically in the Principality of Monaco, you need to have 250 sleeping rooms or less. So we have a couple of very, very fine four stars which in another destination probably would be categorized as five star. And the rooms range from traditional European properties to modern hotels. We're now gonna take a look at the hotel product. And remember, it is an overview today because we're just giving you a feel for the destination. One of our hotel companies, a Monaco company that has more than 150 year history, has several different products within its portfolio. Monte Carlo, Societe de Bain de Mer has two historic hotels, one of which is the Hotel de Paris, a five-star property, also a leading hotel. Its sister hotel, the Hotel Hermitage, another five-star. A hotel dating from the 1930s, the Monte Carlo Beach, and finally, the Monte Carlo Bay Hotel and Resort. To give you a feel, currently the Hotel de Paris, the oldest of the hotels, um, is currently undergoing a renovation process that will take place until October 2018. 
However, some of the key uh, facilities within the hotel, such as the iconic Empire Room, the three Michelin star restaurant, the Louis um, Caz, the main lobby will remain open. So do keep that in mind. The Hotel Hermitage is a hotel that dates to uh, the turn of the last century, a 280-room hotel with very significant meeting space, and it is the home to the Vistamar, a one Michelin star restaurant. The Monte Carlo Beach Hotel, well, just think of the Gatsby era. This hotel is situated at the Beach Club along a magnificent uh, Olympic-sized swimming pool, has 40 sleeping rooms. So keep in mind, this is a good option would be during the off period. Do you want privacy? This hotel could be uh, taken over. They have two meeting rooms and they have a Michelin-starred restaurant called Elsa. But even if you are not staying at the hotel, you can use their function space, spaces, hold a party around the Olympic side swimming pool. And finally, the Monte Carlo Bay Hotel and Resort with its 334 rooms, 75% of which have sea views. Because the way the hotel is built, the sleeping rooms begin on the third floor, meeting space is on the second floor. It's a, it's a great option when you want everybody to have um, equal hotel product. The Metropole is an independent property with 133 rooms and suites, situated very close to the Casino Square. They have two meeting rooms that have been designed by Carl Lagerfeld, and um, the hotel has three restaurants, but one of which is Odyssey, which is by the pool, and uh, Jean Robuchon supervises all restaurants in the hotel, but the space of Odyssey also was designed by Carl Lagerfeld. Our largest hotel in the Principality of Monaco and the largest hotel on the entire Riviera is the Fairmont Monte Carlo, a four-star property with 602 sleeping rooms and suites, 18 meetings, uh, meeting rooms, and just recently they celebrated the first anniversary of the Nobu restaurant. Another uh, brand hotel in the Principality is Le Meridian Beach Plaza, which is part of Starwood. The hotel has 403 sleeping rooms. They have their own convention center called the Sea Club, which adjoins directly to the hotel. There are 14 meeting rooms, and they have a restaurant called Lintempo, which operates 24-7. Uh, and it is the only uh, um, hotel in the Principality with its own private beach, so they've got some fantastic space for outdoor functions. The Columbus Monaco, a three-star hotel, is very one of our first really lifestyle-type properties. It gives one perhaps a feeling of W hotels in another period, and they have just introduced free Wi-Fi access throughout the hotel. The hotel has 181 rooms and suites, four meeting rooms, and sits across from the newly opened Princess Grace Rose Garden. Uh, the Princess Grace Rose Garden celebrated 30 years, and they just reopened in the month of June. Another three-star product in Monaco is the Novotel, which belongs to the Accor brand. 218 sleeping rooms and 13 uh, meeting rooms. The hotel is really interesting in that it was for, it's in a building that was formerly Radio Monte Carlo, so there are some fat, fantastic images, photographs from old radio days. For those who are holding larger functions, we have a convention center, which is a stone's throw from all of our hotel products, the Grimaldi Forum uh, Monaco. So 
So our convention and cultural center is walking distance to almost all of your um, hotels. But even if you are not using the meeting space, you can think of it if you need a large, uh, large function space. They have a restaurant called Cafe Lorca on the second floor. Uh, Chef Alain Lorca, who holds uh, two Michelin stars, he came up with a concept to make some great food affordable. And it's an absolutely fa fantastic space with a beautiful terrace overlooking the Mediterranean. Venues. We have all types of venues to offer you in the Principality, one of which is the Summer Sporting Club. You see the picture over here to the right? It's a fantastic building uh, that can accommodate over 950 person. And this very special room, which means Room of the Stars, has a retractable ceiling, but the ceiling has tiny little lights which make you think of stars, but then you have a dinner and the ceiling retracts and the real stars are over or above you. Some other really very interesting venues which conjure up the image of the principality, our Oceanographic Museum and Institute was founded by Prince Albert I over 100 years ago. Jacques Cousteau was the director for over 30 years, and it is both a museum and research center. Beautiful aquarium uh, with fish from different parts of the seas, from, the, from colder waters, from warm, warmer waters. So uh, you can hold rooftop cocktail receptions for 200 people. You can do cocktail receptions in the uh, aquarium for 600, and it is also possible to do some sit-down dinners in this historic building. This is where Prince Albert I would give lectures based on the findings of his scientific expedition. We have a car museum, which houses the uh, private collection of His Serene Highness Prince Albert II. Imagine wandering around during cocktails talking about the history of some of the different vehicles, which are all in perfect, perfect restored condition. Doesn't really need much decor. Lunch or dinner for 650 people, and cocktails can go over 1,300. A bit of local flavor. Our Condamine Indoor-Outdoor Food Market is now available for your functions. So keep that in mind. And Monaco's exotic gardens, which have views overlooking the entire principality, can also, this is, the exotic garden is a brand new venue available to you. And you can do seated events for 250 person or 1,000 for cocktail style. Other types of places you'll find in Monaco, Hip, Cool, the Buddha Bar, the Brasser of Monaco, is um, a place frequented by locals and visitors alike, and we have craft beer, so you can even do beer tastings for your guests. The Explorers Pub, which is over in the corner, um, is a pub, but it has fantastic memorabilia from the Arctic expeditions of Prince Albert I and Prince Albert II. You can do all kinds of dine-arounds. If you're looking for a gastronomic dine-around, some of our Michelin restaurants include uh, the three Michelin star Louis XV, two Michelin stars at Joel Robuchon, one at Yoshi. The Vista Mora has one Michelin star, and Elsa, which we spoke about earlier at the Monte Carlo Beach, holds a Michelin star. But you can also do all types of casual dining dine arounds, and I remind you, the type of cuisine of Monaco is really a fusion between Northern Italian and Provençal, but our dining offerings have been diversified. We just opened a gastronomic Chinese restaurant called Sang Chi. You noted that we have a Budavar, we have Yoshi, so one can find very diverse cuisine in the Principality of Monaco. Are you looking for team building activities? 
well, we've given you here just a small shopping list of some of the types of things that you might do from sailing regattas to Formula 3 driving, car rallies fit because we're such a car destination, casino nights in uh, nearby French towns, you can do fragrance competitions, wine, you can do wine tastings, cooking lessons. It, it's just the beginning. Monaco, the Principality of Monaco, is a destination steeped in culture and history. Amongst our museums include the Oceanographic Museum, but other museums include our National Museum, which is comprised of two beautiful villas, the Villa Sober and the Villa Paloma. And I just might mention small events can be held at these very beautiful villas. We're very strong in the performing arts. We have the Monte Carlo Philharmonic Orchestra, the opera, and our opera house, the Garnier Room, which is a miniature of the opera house in Paris, seats 500 people. And it's really quite an experience to attend an event at the, uh, in the Garnier Room. We have a ballet, the Ballet de Monte Carlo, and the first performance was in 1911 by Diaghilev's Ballet Russe. Yes, we are a gaming destination, um, or I should say we're really more a destination with gaming rather than a gaming destination. But if you want to invite people in, they can you know, seeking James Bond, whatever, a must is to visit the famed Casino de Monte Carlo. But gaming is also available for those who are interested in other venues. And need to relax after a long, hard day of work. We have a very diverse spa product, including the Tamarin, which we might also call the Seawater Thermal Spa which is linked to the Hotel de Paris and the Hermitage, but also can be accessed from the exterior. And here the philosophy is of taking the benefits of the waters, and they recently underwent uh, a renovation program. A different approach, more of an Eastern one, is Espa at the Hotel Metropole, and Fairmont has their brand Willow Stream in-house, and at the Monte Carlo Bay, they have Sank Bond, which has spa treatments representing the five different continents. We have a very, very rich event calendar, and you might want to wish to take advantage of some of the events, one of which is Monte Carlo Rolex Masters, which takes place annually in April. And here you can see greats like Djokovic and Nadal compete on the clay courts, of course, people know our Formula One, and in even number years, we have a historic Grand Prix, and I might mention this year, for the first time, there will be an electric car race in the month of May. We have our yacht show, which is probably one of the most important yacht shows for super yachts that takes place in September. This little map, we just want to give you an idea our proximity to the French and the Italian Rivieras gives you a very unique opportunity to diversify your program. Yes, breakfast in Monaco, lunch in France, dinner in Italy, and back to Monaco for an after-dinner drink. What this little map shows is within the first arc are places that one can access or offer half-day excursions to. And within the larger arc, where you can do full day excursions to. Just to throw out a few ideas, within minutes from Monaco is the medieval village of Ez, which sits like a, an eagle's nest. And here you have the perfumeries of Fragonard, where you can organize uh, activities to discover the art of perfume making. We're not far far from the city of Cannes, Nice and its old town with its absolutely fantastic flower and food market, another medieval village, St. Paul de Vence, which is a walled fortified village. Going east of Monaco is the Italian Riviera, the Riviera of Flowers.
Please note that all of our hotels continue to offer U.S. dollar guaranteed packages. The packages are typically a four-night hotel stay, including full American breakfast, two meal functions, and prices start as low as $5.95. But for more details, please, please go to our uh, website, visit monaco.com backslash U.S. meetings and incentives for the details on these programs. Although at the current moment, the euro is weak against the dollar, so your dollar is going to have greater buying power. You may wish opt to purchase in euros. We have an incentive offer. We're most appreciative of the business that everybody brings to us. And our incentive offer gives one a one-hour complimentary cocktail reception which has a value of uh, 20 euros per person. And this is something that the tourist office will do. We can assist with the site inspection and offer complimentary helicopter transfers for up to four people participating in the site. And we would also host a dinner or a lunch in an offsite venue. We offer marketing support. And just to mention this particular offer, uh, especially the cocktail reception, is based on programs of 400 room nights minimum. For those offering, uh, hosting large meetings, we have a different uh, program called Monaco Meeting. And the components are described below. The principality, one can reclaim value added tax on the services rendered in the principality, and I would encourage everybody to take advantage of this. For insurance companies or your insurance clients, we are one of two European destinations where insurance companies can reclaim that on sleeping rooms, food, non-alcohol non is 10%, and on alcohol entertainment, venue rentals, that is 20%. So it is definitely in your interest to reclaim that on your programs. Well, we think some of our top selling points are that we offer great value. I think Monaco is a destination that many people think that they could never afford in their life. It's royalty, it's James Bond, it's lifestyles of the rich and famous. We are also one of the safest places on earth. English is widely spoken. We have a very strong infrastructure with very high standing international hotels. We're easily accessible and we enjoy a very mild temperate climate similar to that of Southern California with 300 days of sunny year. Diversity of activities. Frequently Mr. Jones and Mr. Smith don't, they're in the same business but they don't enjoy the same activities. So whether one's interested in sporting activities, cultural, gastronomic, I think that we have something to offer everybody. And the destination is highly promotable. Lucy Bayonne, my colleague and I, we're both here at the Monaco Government Tourist Office in New York City. We are available to help you with any questions that you wish to have addressed. And we wish to thank you for your time this afternoon and we look forward to working with you and welcoming you. Seeking a venue, we offer you a country. <laughs>